It's the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia, with your host, Bob Snap. Hi guys, welcome to the Andy Griffith Show, Facts and Trivia. Thank you for stopping by. Today's video is on uh, Francis Bavier's final words uh, to Andy Griffith. It's been more than 60 years since the Andy Griffith Show premiered on CBS. The show's unforgettable characters cemented their place in television history and in the hearts of generations of the show's fans. But behind the scenes, some of the actors didn't get along as well as the on-screen characters did. Set in Mayberry, North Carolina, the Andy Griffith Show ran for eight years and starred Griffith as a small-town sheriff, Andy Taylor. He was joined by his dim-witted yet charming deputy, Barney Fife, played by Don Knotts, Taylor's son, Opie, portrayed by young Ron Howard, and Taylor's Aunt B, played by Francis Bavier. Along with the rest of the show's cast, including Floyd the Barber, Otis the Town Drunk, uh, gas station attendants Gomer and Goober, and many more, the uh, Taylor family represented a closeness of family and community that represents many small towns across the country. When cameras weren't rolling, at least one of the characters was known for being hard to work with. Francis Bavier, America's favorite aunt, had reputation of being easily offended and didn't appreciate the role that made her a household name. You can't be an actress for 40 years living in a world of make-believe and not be affected, she told the Star Gazette. Sooner or later, your mind begins to click, and in my case, you're wise to seek professional help to help stop being Aunt B after work. It's terribly difficult because Aunt B is so much nicer than the real me. Unlike plays in which you play a character only a couple hours each night, you must be television character 12 hours a day. And even when you go home, people don't recognize you as you, but for the character you play can be awfully confusing. Bobby A. reportedly only clashed with Griffith on the set, uh, but had great respect for him and his role in making the Andy Griffith show a success. But by the time the camera stopped rolling and the show wrapped in 68, Bobby A. was one of the few stars who appeared in the show's spinoff, Mayberry RFD, making her one of the longest lasting characters from the franchise. Andy Griffith himself admitted that he and Bobby A. often clashed during filming and didn't stay in contact after the end of the show. But Bobby A. did reach out to Griffith one final time before her death in 89. In an interview with Ralph Emery, Andy Griffith revealed that Bobby A. had contacted him after finding out that she had cancer and apologized for being so difficult to work with. She said, I'm sorry we didn't get along better. It was my fault. I just wish we had gotten along better. You ran the show and you made the show a success. I'm just sorry we didn't get along better. Now, while Francis Bobby A. had many other acting roles to her credit, She'll always be Aunt B to us. And I think she gets a raw deal. Seriously. Um, she may have been hard to work with. She's much older than the rest of the cast. But uh, she may have been an invert. You know, she may not have just been an outgoing person. You know, and, and that's okay. And she may not have agreed with Andy. That's okay. That happens when you work with someone. And yes, I would think it would be very hard after all those years of playing Aunt B to go home and people are still calling you Aunt B. It's, it's like walking down the street and someone holler at you by a different name all the time. To me, that would be difficult. And, and it, more so for her. Uh, she did see a psychiatrist about it. So don't be so hard on her. I mean, I don't think she was this evil person, you know, and, and a lot, she's catching a lot of crap on this channel from people commenting. She, I don't think she was a bad person. I just think that's the way people are sometimes. And, you know, Andy's not Andy Taylor, and, and Francis Bobby A ain't Aunt B. That's how it is. Uh, I hope I'm making sense. Please don't forget about classic TV facts and trivia. It's on Gilligan's Island. Uh, Isaac Rock Country Music Facts and Trivia. It's on how Travis Tritt helped to get the Eagles back together. That was by request. Please don't forget to subscribe here. Please like this video. Thank you. You guys have a great day. God bless, and I'm praying for you.